I always wanted to live in Alberta and really what it was was that entrepreneurial spirit and opportunity. The promise that if you're willing to work hard, you can chart your own path and be who and whatever you want to be. I would say that I grew up in a small town. When I turned 16, I got a cow, not a car. I do get asked that every now and then and I would say this, that premiers Lougheed and Wall were not yet 40 when they became leaders of their respective parties. And I think that what I bring is something that's much needed here in Alberta politics, which is a fresh perspective and a different approach. Hmm. I would say it was running in the first place. It was a big decision to leave a job that was great, uh, that I loved, but to take a risk and to put my name forward. But I really wanted to show my kids that if you have something to offer, that you need to stand up, whether that is volunteering or in politics uh, or in your community, it matters. I would say my kids. Flames. <laughs> So politically, I would look up to people like former Premier Bradwall or my campaign chair, Ron Ambrose. And why that is, especially when my first job in politics was working for Premier Wall, it was really about a conservative leader that had a vision for the future, that could talk about a strong economy and a balanced budget and why that matters, which is really so that when my kids are sitting at the table making decisions, they can meet the demands of their time and not be paying off decisions made in ours. But it's also what allows us to invest in things like healthcare and education, that we can care about, yes, the balance sheet, but also about people. Outside of politics, I would say my parents, they really taught me that nothing in life is free and the most important things uh, in this world are hard work and helping out your neighbors. I would say my grandma was also a huge influence in terms of, you know, showing me that I had to step up, how important it was to vote, get involved in politics, and yes, also to be conservative. <laughs> This leadership race matters because I do believe that the success of our party and the future of our province is dependent on us getting this right. We need a leader not just for the next year or someone who could get us through the next election, but someone who can lead us into a new generation of our conservative movement, who can bring new voters or those who've been frustrated with conservative politics along not only to beat Rachel Notley and the NDP in 2023, but to go far beyond that with a vision for the future. That is the question. We need a leader who can, yes, unite our party, but also who can take on the NDP in 2023 and win. This will take a leader and a team that is disciplined, that is willing to work hard, it will not be easy, but it will also take a vision for the future and a plan to get there, something that Albertans can get behind. I want to lead a team and a party that our supporters are proud to vote for. That's why I'm the best choice for leader of the United Conservative Party and the next Premier of this province.